Alright, what's going on guys? So if you read the title, um, it may be a bit of an exaggeration. Um, honestly, to me, it's a, it's a pretty accurate description of this knife. Um, there's not a single detail that is uh, out of place or you know would seem like an afterthought. Um, none of that. It's everything is where it needs to be. It functions properly and just finished. Finished perfectly. Uh, this, of course, is the Bodega made by Todd Begg. And just a quick backstory on this knife. I first heard about it, or actually, um, there was a YouTube member. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. It's Ernie something. I can't remember the numbers. But he has the. Um, yeah, the one thumb, and he showed the prototype, and instantly I just fell in love with the design. Uh, it had the the shiny, shiny um, titanium, and I was just drawn to it. It has like this futuristic look, but yet still functional. Um, Anyways, so I learned that uh, Mr. Todd Begg was bringing 30 of them to the Blade Show and that he was going to put them up for auction. That was pretty much the only way that you can get them then. And due to some BS that was going on with a custom knife dealer, that's a whole nother story, um, I didn't get one. Uh, a couple people got them that weren't a part of that uh, custom knife dealer. I'm not going to name who it is. Uh, if you really want to know, uh, PM me and I'll let you know. But, yeah, I lucked out and, you know, pretty much that whole weekend I kept going back to uh, Mr. Todd Begg's table and I would sit there and just chit chat with him and play with the knives and just, just an awesome guy. Really, uh, really nice knife maker. Um, also spoke to Mark, which is his brother, and uh, Matthias, really cool guys. Um, so they pretty much told me to uh, get on the pre-order list, and I did. So two weeks later, um, this one showed up. And yeah, I haven't been able to put it down since then. Um, so let's let's cover some of the details on this knife. It's got an I think it's four inch or almost four inch blade made of um, N690 hollow ground. It's really thin down to the edge. It's an excellent slicer. Uh, the swedge is also hollow ground fairly thick blade stock um, the tip is I'd say adequate for an EDC blade it's not too uh, fragile looking it has this fuller with holes in it and I'm pretty sure that's um, like a to uh, signature Todd Begg design. I know most, if not all, of his custom knives feature um, this fuller with holes in them. And, and it just goes with the whole look of the knife. Uh, they come in uh, G10 micarta, uh, regular carbon fiber, and lightning strike carbon fiber, and either uh, smooth texture or uh, 3D machined like this one. Pretty cool texturing. Um, it's not at all like aggressive or... It's just right. Um, 
going back to the level of um, craftsmanship and attention to detail is just through the through the roof. I mean. Every edge, every corner. It's just done right. IKBS, of course. It has a, um, a titanium pivot collar with a cracked ice finish um, a titanium backspacer that also has the cracked ice finish awesome jimping back here just a little details as you can see the the peaks of the jimping are it's, semi-polished satin but then the valleys have been bead blasted so it gives a, a pretty cool contrast the inside of the backspacer is also finished with that cracked ice look to it look at that now the locking side of the handle this is uh, some pretty innovative stuff. It's actually two pieces. The front part and the back part which has the, uh, the lock bar. Um, both pieces kind of work off of the lock bar and these holes have to be machined perfectly for it to function you know as, in, as intended. Um, the lock bar has been milled out. It actually goes, you know, like a normal lock bar, but the upper corner of it has been milled out so it would go under the front part of the handle, which creates um, your over travel mechanism. So that's pretty cool. Again, IKBS. Um, this knife has the most perfect detent that I've ever come across. It's just flies out. I mean, effortless. Uh, you can do it this way. Um, disengaging the lock bars also effortless but it's not gonna disengage on you just by holding it this way it's a pretty solid lockup internal stop pins um, the lockup on it there's I mean I'm really I'm really tweaking this and I'm not getting any play left to right or up and down so it's another thing that he got right um, this is a pretty cool thing that I've noticed between these two they're made at you know different times but the lockup It's pretty much the same on both of them. It's right at, what is that, 15, 20%. And it doesn't matter if you open it slow or if you flip it. It always goes back to the same spot with either knife. So 
So that's just a testament to Mr. Todd Begg's um, level of fit and finish with these knives. Uh, just a quick size comparison. I have a Strider SNG on me. So I would say it's about the size of an SMF. So it's a it's a pretty decently sized knife. Um, perfectly balanced, so you don't feel the weight at all. Um, super super ergonomic handle. Um, everything's been rounded off. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. There's um, there's sharp corners or anything that would give you any discomfort when you're holding it, and your hand just locks in there. There's no jimping up top, but you really don't need it. The uh, flipper tang, along with the jimping on the lock bar, and the curvature of the handle, just locks you in there. Um, even in reverse grip. You're locked in. Um, you have a choil here. Um, this grip is also also phenomenal. Super comfortable. Um, pretty cool detail that he did. Uh, the heel of the cutting edge is actually flat, so you don't run into um, possibly cutting yourself while you're in this grip. Uh, some of you that own XMs know what I'm talking about. Um, there's been a couple times where I've almost gotten bit by that heel, but as you can see, it's flat. Pretty cool feature. So pretty much this knife is uh, intended to be used, and I have I've been using this one. Um, it's been in my EDC rotation pretty much since the day I got it. Um, yeah, they're a bit pricey, but I mean, really, for the level of perfection and quality, and you know, all that is just factored into the knife. And as you can see, there's two of them. You won't mind the price. Whoa. As I knock my tripod over. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or whatever, just leave them in the comments. Or you can PM me. Alright. Take it easy, guys.